uh, not just here but around the country. There's an amazing number of Americans have voted early this time around and throughout the state of West Virginia and in Berkeley County, too. And we've been talking with Tony Petrucci, the Berkeley County clerk, uh, during the course of early voting to get the totals each day. Tony, good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning, and thanks for having me again. Uh, good morning, Commissioner. Good morning there, Mr. Petrucci. And Always John. great to hear from you. And John. That's the way it is. And John. <laughs> and John. And John. <laughs> it's kind of an afterthought, Tony, yeah. a long afterthought. Is he still there? And John. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. I can confirm well, he's still what, here, what do by the way. talk about? <laughs> How'd Notre Dame do this weekend? You know, they had a hell of a game. They didn't even play. <laughs> Hey, just like they had the buy, just like uh, the Steve. I thought they had a buy. That's why I was confused. Pitt, no, I guess not. Hey, I didn't know. Uh, Pitt wished they had a buy. They flew out to SM, Texas to play SMU and just got destroyed. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy. So I, I, I was looking, and my wife told me, well, they're not even playing until the ninth. So I said, okay, good. <laughs> I didn't miss nothing. How were your early voting uh, numbers from well, uh, Friday and good. Saturday, Tony? Um, Friday. We had 3,071 people to vote it. Uh, 11, uh, I can break it down for you if you want. Bettyton, uh, 1109. Gun Building, 916. Pikeside, 1046. Saturday, we had a total of 2,688. Uh, Bettyton, we had 981. Gun Building, 802. And Pikeside, 905, which brought our total for early voting of 27,800 people. Uh, and that's about 29% of the registered voters. So not quite 30,000, but uh, 27,800, almost 28,000 people took advantage yes. of early voting at the three locations. Yes. yes, sir. Well, you folks must have been pretty busy. Good for you. Yep, Friday especially, and you mentioned people across the country. 75 million people have already voted. Yeah, I'm going to be curious, Tony, see what happens tomorrow uh, and whether we're getting a lot of new voters to jack mm -hmm. up the early voting or is this a redirection of folks that would vote anyway. I'm, I'm hoping we've got yeah. a lot of new voters. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be busy, busy. Um, I'd say probably normally 4 o'clock on. I mean, usually in the mornings it's a little light, but I, I'd say 4, four on till. It closes. I think you'll see a, 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 a raft of people at most polling places, and and some of the ones that's always been uh, real heavy back at the woods and up at the Musselman area has always been pretty pretty uh, pretty heavy. So, Tony, so the, the polls close at seven tomorrow. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. So at yeah. seven thirty, if there's still fifty people in line, what happens? Uh, we take them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we get we start getting cards out, and if it's after seven thirty, then they wouldn't be able to vote. But if they're in line before that, they vote. Financial Phil will be joining us in a couple of minutes here. By the way, Tony, sixty minutes last night did a big feature on election security and where the opportunities are, if any, for fraud at a polling place. Are you mm -hmm. fully confident in Berkeley County that fraud oh, yeah. will be mostly non-existent in voting? Yes, we. we yeah, uh, we haven't had any problems even in 2022, yeah, 2022, 2020. I, I don't remember any problems with that. So I don't anticipate any any issues here this year at all. Tony, carries through very quickly. What happens after 730 tomorrow night? Well, after 730, after we're done. Tony gets a beer. Uh, <laughs> we have carriers that will actually bring – Bring the tub, the the tub. We call them the tubs. It's actually underneath the 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 machine where the card, the ballot goes. And, and let me stop you there just a second, Tony. The carriers mm -hmm. are who? They made up by both parties. Uh, they work. They work. They work. At, they're like poll workers. I know, so but were like, they rep uh, both parties would be represented? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. The, yeah. the point yeah. I'm getting at in a kind of a convoluted sort of way is I want to show the security and how yeah. both parties are looking at everything. Yeah, okay. yeah that's correct. Um, and they, they bring those in um, to the uh, on Baltimore Street. No, I'm lying to you. Uh, we did that. We're going to do we're – do, we're doing our canvassing this year uh, for Gary Wine at the Dunville. So they will bring those in to the um, Dunn building, and we'll um, 
we'll have it. You know, we just start bringing them in. We, when we have people there, we have bales there uh, that, that take them from the cars or trucks or whatever comes in and, and place them in a secure room. And then we start uh, with the tally. Uh, electronically, we have a person from the um, IT company that we work with and also, Mr. Gary Wine will be there actually uh, posting these on online, so we'll, we'll be able to know, you know, what like precinct one, what they had. So as soon as they come in, we start. Yep. But good. the I think an important element as well. This is brought out on sixty minutes uh, that mm-hmm. it's you're not part of the internet. There's no opportunity no, for no, somebody no, no, to come in no. and manipulate from afar. No, sir. The Secretary of State's office over the past few years done a great job of that, uh, Mr. Warner and his crew. So, no, no, we're not hooked up to that at all. And everything is backed up with a paper ballot. Correct. Yeah. Now, Tony, you said so far 29 percent of Berkeley County has uh, the mm-hmm. 10 vote has voted. What was the total? Do you know off the top of your head the total vote, total percentage that voted in 2020? You know, uh, 2020, you're going to have to give me a minute on that. Yeah, Tony was uh, not the clerk at that time. I know, I know 2016 was almost like 80-some percent. Okay. Uh, 2020, I believe it was it was less because of COVID, um, right. which affected a lot of things. Right. And, I'm, and I'm looking at probably 50 to 60 okay. if, I, if I'm not – I think I saw that someplace. So people should still expect – Pretty crowded polls. Polling I'm, places I'm, I'm, I'm going with you know the big the big number. I really do. I think you know based on what early voting has done. Even and of course I do agree with Commissioner Stubberfield. I mean you know how many you've had all these people vote already. Uh, um, you know is it going to be a little less? Is it be a little more? I don't, but I, I'm thinking it's going to be more because most normally uh, Republicans vote later. On election day, Democrats usually vote uh, early. That's the trend that they that we've seen. And um, but I think but this, year, this year is different. Yeah. This year is different, Tony. With sta- at least yeah. nationwide, this year is different. Republicans exactly. in the southern part, exactly. Yeah, but- exactly. And and I tell you what's probably going to make a difference, in my opinion only, is the um, independents. Tony, thank. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, thank you very much for your report this morning. Do you have a final question, Bill? No, I was going to say, the independents better get, better get out and vote this year because next time they'll not be able to vote, uh, at least in the primary, unless That's they're registered. That's what I hear. Yep, yep. unless they're registered. And, uh, I, and I think the women and the, and the men vote is going to be, mm-hmm. across the country, is going to be the, be the big issue. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially, especially those women. <laughs> <laughs> especially those lovely women, yes. Yep, Okay. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate all of your call-ins over the course of this last uh, week and a no half. No problem. I'm leaving for Hawaii tomorrow, <laughs> so if you need anything, just call, just call somebody. Wait, wait till Wednesday. Yeah. Hey, no, when, Wednesday. And when is the canvassing done? We're hoping we'll be done um, that night. Yeah, Tuesday night. Tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. When is the, but there's a there's a later date when yeah, you do the rec- yeah. the certification. Oh, canvassing. Canvassing is uh, November the twelfth. November twelfth. Okay. It's always a week later after the election. So you'll be back from Hawaii by that time, will you, Tony? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony, have a great day. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Take Tony. Care. That's Tony Petrucci, thank Berkeley you. County Clerk. And uh, now we turn our attention to Financial Phil from Ameriprise Financial and the Mirius Group of Financial Advisors, Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg. Good morning, Philly. Good morning, guys. How are you all? We are well, Phil. Thank you. Yeah. 